What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the WordPress revisions on your favor, okay? So basically we learn, we're gonna learn how to undo changes and go back to an earlier version of your posts or pages using Gutenberg Editor. In the case that you want to learn how to do this using the Elementor page builder, leave a comment into the description below and I gonna be happy and do a video for it, okay? And before anything, before I can start, please hit the subscribe button and like this video because we bring tutorials for WordPress users every single week, okay? We have marketing tutorials, themes, plugins, elements, and other tips, so you're gonna enjoy the channel. So hit the subscribe button, it helps us a lot. And now let me share with you a situation that I can assume with a certain amount of shirt sure that a lot of people already pass it by okay so here is the situation you are doing you are writing some post for your blog and you updated it whoever you did something wrong you would like to go back to an earlier to a previous version of your content and how to do this Luckily for us, WordPress auto saves versions of your previous posts. Okay, it auto saves. It creates a revision, um, another version of the content, and you can go back to this version according to the settings of your WordPress installation. However, by default, by normal means, you can go back to an earlier version of your posts without uh, much work. Okay, it's uh, quite simple. So let's go to the point. Go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? And once on dashboard, locate the content that you would like to go back to do a revision. For example, in my case, it's gonna be a blog post. And the post name is the Hello World, okay? Click on the post so we can load the Gutenberg editor, the blog editor. And here is my post, okay? Nothing special. Here is the post. Whoever, I don't like some change that I write on it. And I would like to remember how it was before those changes because there was content removed or content added or content changed. How to do this or how to reveal what your editor is doing on the post, for example. If you have a look into the right sidebar of elements and you scroll a bit down once on post, you can see the revisions right here okay so post revisions we have four revisions into this post however there is some ways to limit the amount of revisions that wordpress save and there is more revisions according to more changes you do in the post okay so if i type this into the post and delete this and then and then update the post post updated you go back to the post tab into the right sidebar of elements and now as you can review we have three revisions and why three instead of five because i did set my wp config file to only storage three versions of my posts and no more to not occupate disk space into the server but we're gonna learn further in the video how to edit this okay so focus on the revisions Click on it and here we go. As you can see, we have the revisions into this bar, into this progress bar. You can click, drag and drop it. As soon as you do it, you're gonna go to the date from the revision and into the last revision. As you can review, a content has been added and a content has been deleted. How would I do if I would like to go back to this version? You can click right here into restore this version. Okay, let me do it. I'm gonna restore to the very first version of this content. So 
drag and drop the progress bar, quick on reset version, and no more content right here. Simple as that. Now we are using a previous version of our posts. However, there is cases that your WordPress does not have this option by default or it stores lots of versions or previous versions of this post because let's imagine that it, this is your home page and you are working on it and you do a lot of edits and click a lot of times into the update to go back another day to edit your page and this can be a potential problem because WordPress gonna storage a lot of versions of your revisions so you can go back to a lot of versions and this gonna occupy a lot of disk space how to change this this is a quite a quite more complicated way however if you go to the visual model blog and on our post wordpress revisions you're gonna learn how to do this in a simpler way okay review this post make sure that you have a site backup because we're gonna be editing our wpconfig.php file and this is the most important file of your wordpress okay but no need to worry and here's how to do I'm on localhost but once you are on your host go to our host page okay find your files manager or cPanel or Plask and locate your wp-config file it's normally on www or on to the public HTML okay in my case I'm on localhost so I go right here to my WAMP server open the WAMP, click on www directory so I can open it, go to my WordPress folder and here I can see my wp-config file. I would like to open it with my notepad and once on it we're gonna screw it down and right here define this is the one I have added only to storage three versions of my content okay but we can define this as four, for example, or five, or you can delete this so we can go back to the defaults. Simple as that, not hard. After you do this change, click on the file, save the updated version of your WP config file. Make sure that you do not change any other part of this file, okay? This file controls your site and connects your server to your WordPress site, okay? So be aware of this. If you are not experienced, try to contact someone who you, who you believe, for example, your host support, your team developer to help you with it. If you are a Visual Moto client, feel free to contact me on visualmoto.com. I will be happy to help you in order to do this. But by default, there is no need to do this. WordPress comes with this normally but there is hosts and hosts and servers and servers okay after you do this just reload your, pa your page and you're gonna see the results reflected simple as this and it is i hope you guys enjoy this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question please don't forget to review our enzo free wordpress team that you can download on wordpress.org and download our borderless wordpress plugin on wordpress.org as well there is the best way to create your first website or update your website. Enzo is the best free WordPress team on the planet. We are working hard on it to make improvements as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, it helps us a lot. And follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as at VisualMoto. And in addition, I'm gonna leave a link, some a couple of links into the first comment of this video for very useful source of information and source of tools. For example, a place where you can safety buy a domain name for 99 cents, or a place where you can download for free every new week we have free design assets to download, like icons, Photoshop templates, design assets, images, for example, and a lot of things. So review those links, it may be useful for you. If you like this content, if this aggregates something to your life, if it helps you in by any meaning, please share with your friend, it helps us a lot. Leave a comment, like this video so YouTube can share it with more persons like you. And I see you later. All the best!